Hey, I just wanted to do a quick video today about um, my time in Chengdu. And the reason I'm making this a green screen video is because at the time I really didn't record uh, much video. I made like one video clip and I'll play it for you. Um, probably best if I just let Coco explain and I'll elaborate on what she says. Take it away, Coco. Just say what you said again. They park here all the time because this is a Tibetan cultural street. So often has a fighting happens as the Tibetan against the local. That means yeah. we, because we belong to different nationalities. So it's kind of a, a, <laughs> a culture happening here because Chengdu is quite close to Tibet. Be careful when you walk on the street. Okay, so what she's talking about there is in downtown Chengdu, it's in the Tibetan district, the Tibetan Quarter, I think it's called. I honestly can't remember the name of the streets. Okay, when you go to Chengdu, and for those of you guys who don't know Chengdu, Chengdu is Sichuan Province, China. The reason most tourists go to Chengdu is to see the pandas. Uh, it is the home of the giant panda research breeding center i think it's got a long friggin name um yeah it's the panda park the panda park so everyone goes to chengdu to go to the panda park and uh so when you're also there you will see a lot of tibetan stuff they have a tibetan uh, quadrant i think it's called um they have a tibetan street and the uh, because chengdu is fa geographically fairly close to tibet so in chengdu you have the Han Chinese living alongside the Tibetans. Now, this is not a China and Tibet video, but if you get on Wikipedia and you research the history of Tibet, there is a, a bit of conflict there between China and Tibet. But this video is not about that. However, it is about that. Now, in this, what you're seeing behind me now are photographs of an armored, armored vehicle. To the uninitiated, this could be an armored vehicle from any street anywhere in the world. These are photographs I took of this armored vehicle, which is basically, I believe to be, a mobile arsenal. These armored vehicles were situated, multiple armored vehicles, not just one, multiple armored vehicles um, on the intersections of the Tibetan street in Chengdu. Why are they there? They are there because at certain times of the year, usually public holidays in China, um, or other days of cultural and uh, religious uh, significance, there is physical conflict between the Tibetans and the Han Chinese. So, if you are a tourist and you go to Chengdu, and it is anywhere you know around that time of a holiday or any other day that is you know of significance you know as being one of these days just keep your wits about you and just watch what's going on because these armored vehicles are, they're, they're not there for no reason at all they're there as a deterrent to stop the locals from fighting but they're there also as a safeguard now what i have been told is that when fighting does erupt the police will basically shut down the street and they will actually kick you the tourist out they're not doing it to be mean they're doing it to protect you they don't want tourists caught up in this kind of violence um, now i'm going to throw up on the green screen behind me a screenshot of some of these headlines that have happened in the past this is not something that I'm just making up. It's there. Uh, links also in the description. So if you're going to downtown Chengdu, and if you're going to the Tibetan district, and if you're going on a Chinese public holiday, you might want to just keep your wits about you. So that ends today's educational video on Chengdu and its Tibetan district. Leave a comment, subscribe. See you later.